talk about discussion boards. So here we are in Blackboard and we need to make sure that we know how to do discussion boards. Now I hear some people say that discussion boards are boring. You know discussion means talk, right? How could that be boring? That's going to be totally fun. So here's how we find them. You got to look on your menu for your class and find the word discussions. There it is. Okay, when you get there, there's all kinds of stuff like math help Q&A. Let's check that out. Nothing. There's nothing in there. What? Okay, this is just ready for you to add a math question. So when you get started on your math homework, if you get stuck, just click on create a thread and type what it's about. Okay, so there's your topic and inside the box just type what's going on. You could even put a specific problem, you could put a photo clip or whatever you want. And then when you finish describing what your problem is, just hit submit. There's the blue button, see it? Okay, and now everybody else in the class can see that somebody else has a question about dividing rational numbers. And so whoever wants to answer it can just get in there and answer it. And that could be you. So you could just click on dividing rational numbers and then you could reply to that. If you want to answer it, if you want to give somebody some help, just hit the reply button. Okay, now you can reply. You just click in that box and type all your wisdom right there and somebody will really appreciate that. You know, just keep it friendly so nobody feels bad, but this should be a great resource for people helping people. I'm gonna hit submit because I am done. Okay, let's see what else was in there. Let's go back to discussions. All right, so here's another thing, introduce yourself. Now that's in one class, but it's not in every class. So if you see something like that, that's an assignment, check it out. Notice there's instructions right here that has a due date and all the instructions about what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, guess what? Introduce yourself. Okay, let's try it. All right, I'm in there. Looks like Diana's already got a thread, so let's check that out. Oh, wow, there's pictures and stuff. You could do that. So you can put your description of yourself and where you came from, and then you can even add pictures. That's cool. Let's go back. Okay. Now, when you want to add your thread, just choose Create a Thread and put your name in the subject line, and then you can introduce yourself. Pretty cool, huh? So that'll be fun, and then we can all read about each other. And then after you read somebody else's, you might find out that they're into some of the same stuff you're into, and you can make a reply. And that'll be really fun. It'll be a discussion, right? See, how boring is that? That's totally fun. We're gonna have a great time with this. Okay, let's see what else is in here. What is that? Diana's defaults and deliberations. Well, in all of Diana's classes, you're gonna find that she's got an area like this, where when she thinks of some good idea or something she thinks might be helpful for you, she's just gonna throw something in there. So it's kind of like a little uh, constant chat from Diana, and you can check it out at any time and see if she's got something to say. Ooh, she does. I'm not gonna open that because I want it to be a surprise, but you should always check there because she's usually got things going every week where she talks about, hey, here's what's going on this week and here's what will help you be the most successful. All right. So that's what discussions are like. They're super easy to use and I think you're gonna have a great time because it's like talking and that's fun.